Hey, good morning and welcome to DPA, Diversified Portfolio Approach, week 21 of 50 of Math, Logic and Wealth. I'm Jeff Kate, and this is the pinnacle, uh, the results of all our research over the last, what, five years? Um, optimization um, of life insurance is, is a process and it involves the product. And I've been telling everyone I can optimize life insurance, but preparing for this class, I realized I don't actually know how to optimize, despite claiming that that's the objective. So what I do know is that consumers deserve better than product picking based on relationships or marketing or highest commission. This is week 21 of our systematic 50 week analysis where we introduce the diversified portfolio approach that is truly puts consumers outcomes first. Every recommendation must answer compared to what? We can't make consumer first recommendations without systematic comparison. You can't optimize what you can't measure and you can't measure what you don't compare. This isn't about finding the perfect product. It's about providing consumers with transparent systematic analysis that they can understand and verify. Here's why measurement matters. This chart shows 20 year cash values from similar products. Prices, almost identical. The spread in cash value at year 20 is enormous. Look at product five, delivering nearly three times the cash value of product one. Without systematic measurement and comparison, how would a consumer know? This isn't about optimization, it's about disclosure and transparency and offering a process that optimizes the outcome. We say, read the policy contract. Does anybody read the policy contract? Marketing and materials sell possibilities. Policy contracts define legal reality. The gap between illustrated projections and contractual guarantees can be massive. Consumer first analysis starts with what's actually guaranteed in writing, not what's projected in marketing materials. Read the contract first. Illustrations come second. Here's actual contract language showing how companies really can set interest rates inside their contract, which can differ than what advisors are telling people it's about. They write things as selected by us from time to time and use words like at our discretion. This is the mathematical reality behind the marketing projections. Consumers need to understand that illustrations are company discretionary, not mathematical certainties. The contract tells the truth. If we're truly putting consumers first, we must document our analysis methodology. Consumers deserve to understand how recommendations were developed, what assumptions were made, and how to verify the analysis. Scientific documentation isn't about us. It's about consumer transparency and accountability. This table proves diversification superiority over product picking. It's a very simple example, but I do a 50-50 diversified approach, consistently showing how it can outperform single product strategies because of the risk across different scenarios. Life expectancy minus 10, 18.5, versus individual products at 20.7 and 16.2. The mathematics favor portfolio approaches over product optimization. The industry faces a choice evolve towards consumer first processes or become extinct through continued product centric selling generally accepted life insurance principles a term we've adopted called gallup enables systematic market shopping that serves consumers not just companies process optimization beats product optimization or a one and done product approach every time look Look at this. this. This is what consumer first marketing shopping looks like in practice. Systematic categorization across term, universal life and whole life products with transparent selection criteria. We have five, four different options on this sheet showing all the bond like options. Why wouldn't we compare them against each other instead of a relationship based selling? We want to provide consumers with organized access to comprehensive market analysis. Mathematical market shopping creates optimal diversification opportunities for consumers. Rather than single product recommendations based on advisor preferences, we provide systematic analysis across product categories. This enables consumers to make informed allocation decisions based on their specific circumstances and risk preferences. 
This is the critical slide, our actual product ranking methodology in action. Like the Magna Carta established rights for citizens, this establishes consumer rights to systematic product analysis. Real company rankings based on mathematical criteria across conversion features, investment options, pricing, and guarantees. This is consumer first analysis in practice. Week 21 summary, five principles that put consumers first. Systematic comparison, contract-based analysis, scientific documentation, portfolio diversification, and mathematical market shopping. This isn't about making life insurance more complicated. It's about making it more honest. We're teaching consumer first methodology, not product one and done optimization. It doesn't exist on a one and done basis. Thank you. Hope to see you soon.